Hey everybody, welcome back to Toy Blocks. Today we will be having a look at the reissue of the Mayfex Hush Batman action figure. And as a matter of fact, we're actually going to be looking at both the black suit and the blue suit. So I should have said action figures. These guys retail for around $95 to $100 retail when they're reissued. Scalper prices are really pushing the black suit up to like 150 bucks right now. They come in collector friendly window package boxes, typical of most import action figures, and they look very good. Let's unbox this black version first and go ahead and have a look at it. Everything is real clean here. The paint looks real good. The joints work well. The cape has all its bendy wires and the cape is just so damn good. I don't know. It makes this character so awesome. It's really like this huge McFarlane style cape, but the way it flows and bends, it just is so nice. That man comes with some hands and a few accessories you can see here on the table and also a base stand and it looks pretty cool. It's like the corner of a building, but let's talk about those hands first. Right out of the pack, he comes with a pair of fisted hands. He also comes with another pair of fisted hands, but these have a little opening at the thumb so he can hold on to his cape or his grappling wire. And it's very cool. I'm glad they came with these. He comes with a pair of Batarang clawed hands, and these look so awesome. And a pair of more open, relaxed hands and a pair of grabbing hands and a pair of wide open palm hands and they also include two grapple gun hands and you get a grappling hook that has a metal bar that can plug right into the end of the gun so it looks like he's just shooting out a straight line and they also included just a little hook part that can plug right into the end of the gun also he comes with four batarangs in total two have little ears on the bats and then the other two are more boomerang-like. Batman comes with two different head sculpts in total. The first right out of the box face is a serious stern face. And his other is an angry expression showing his teeth. Now let's go ahead and jump over to the blue Batman. And honestly, that's the same exact action figure with just different colors. This version here includes an unmasked head instead of the building stand. And let's go ahead and break them out, have a look and compare. And everything here is mostly clean, but I do see a big paint splotch on his neck collar. And it's not really like a massive deal to me, but really it should be cleaner for the price that you have to pay for these action figures. You shouldn't have a huge paint splotch like that. And here he is, a look at all his accessories out of the box. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison. This figure is honestly amazing and hands down the best comic Batman you can buy for six inch action figures to mix in with most action figure lines in general. I have come across a few little paint splashes here or there, scuff marks, but nothing so bad that I needed to return the action figure. The posability and the articulation is what's really taken Mayfex to the top of the game in my opinion, and it's what collectors want. It's what action figure photographers want for their TikTok, for their Instagram, their stories. They want highly posable super articulated action figures that look good. 
Here's a side-by-side -side shot of Batman with the Mafex Hush Superman. And that's the last review I did. So go check that out if you're interested. And here's another comparison shot with some more Batmans in the same color. And these are both Mezco Batman side by side here. And here's one more side by side with the McFarlane Bane and the Mafex Hush Nightwing. And I should have the Nightwing review coming up pretty soon. For some of these cool swinging around poses or the circle line that's shooting out of their grappling gun, I just bought a little eight or a 0.8 millimeter aluminum wire, excuse me. And it poses around super easy. You can bend it, you can wrap it around the figure's hand, but it really does seem like a cord. And you could probably go up to one millimeter exactly in size, and it would probably still fit in that grappling gun perfectly. But um, yeah, you can just pull the, um, the little metal part out of the extra hook that you get. And you can just put the wire right up in there and it works fine. But doing something like this is really like adding spider webs with Spider-Man. It will just add a ton of movement and motion to your action figure, even if he's sitting right on the shelf. So go ahead and consider that. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And thank you for watching. These DC Mafex figures are really taking my DC collection to new heights. And I've been impressed so far, and I still have a few to open and look at. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get there. I will see you guys next time. Peace.